footballers, as we know, heroes to millions. But growing up as a kid, who was your hero? Uh, my sporting hero was probably LeBron James. When did you, when you're looking at the TV or in a stadium and you're thinking, I want to be him, or I want to be you know, that person? It started for many years, but for me it was, I think it was about 16, 17. Um, I was saying I'm quite a big fan of basketball, so uh, my sporting hero was probably LeBron James. And, you know, I was just watching his career unfold and, you know, I watched a lot of interviews about him on YouTube and, you know, I want to be like him, I want to be as professional as him, I want to be, you know, exactly like him and I want to work as hard as I possibly can every day to do my job and, you know, just do as, train as hard as possible. Um, obviously, do the best you can in everything that you do. For you, what made him special? What made him stand out from the crowd? Just the fact that he's from, um, obviously, he's a black person, so he's done well to, um, in his sporting career. Um, and he's from a place called uh, Ohio, Cleveland. And um, I think around right when I first started watching him, he was in Cleveland at the start of his career and then moved away to somewhere else, but then came back and won a championship for Cleveland years later. Um, it's a story that obviously you know, coming out, being home and winning a championship at home. Um, it kind of is similar to my story. And, but just his, his um, personal life as well, he's been through personal um, things that, you know, similar to mine. But his mum had him quite young. His dad it hasn't been a massive factor in his life. And mm. I know that's not a complete mirror of your mm. life, but I just wondered if you saw the echoes in his experiences in your own. Yeah, definitely, I think. Just anybody who's doing well and you kind of want to know a little bit more about him and he's obviously had you know, difficulties in his upbringing and um, with his mother and father and stuff like that and you know, it has been similar to mine. Obviously my mum's been a single parent for so many years now. Um, you know, I still speak to my father but it's kind of all the commu communication. Um, but yeah, it's one of them things that you know you you just have to get on with and try and do your best every single day. You know, with so many things that I've watched, he's um, been a person that's just pushed and pushed and pushed to, you know, to come out and come out of everything that he's been through. And, you know, that's what I've wanted to do. I've been through, you know, a few little things in my life that, um, that I wanted to come out of. And, you know, not just, I'm not just saying it's him that's helped me do that, but. I think just looking at his story and relating it to mine, it's, it's definitely some of that you know, relates a little bit. Are you able, just to explain a little bit of your background? Yeah, so um, I'm quarter Jamaican, quarter English, um, quarter Irish and the rest I don't know what I am. But um, yeah, I've got a single mum who's, you know, um, looked after me since or well, helped me grow into the person that I am today um, by myself for quite a few years now and um, got twin sister I had a triplet she passed away when she was younger I've got a younger brother and a younger sister who um, get on my nerves a little bit but um, obviously um, love them to bits and yeah I've been in Leeds all my life um, you know, I got scouted by Leeds when I was 14. Never been to a professional club before that, and you know my mum and my grandma were the people that was, you know, taking me to training every other day and looking after me when my mum was working. My grandma would be looking after me and stuff like that. So yeah, I feel like um, you know, obviously a lot of people have different stories, but I feel like you know family and. You know, the people that I've had around me have been a major key in, in my growing up and, you know, now I'm here and, you know, I just want to pay them all back for it. On the court then, what makes him special? Um, There's a smile. <laughs> <laughs> nah, he's just, he obviously wears the same number as me. But yeah, he's, you know, he's a great basketball player. He's arguably the best basketball player in the world. Obviously, there's an ongoing, ongoing conversation of who's better, but I just feel like, at the end of LeBron's career, I feel like you look back and you think, yeah, he's done some of that. 
not many people would have been able to do. So I feel like right now, um, obviously a lot of people say that Michael Jordan's the best player in the world because of how many rings he's won, but I feel like once his career's finished, then people will realise how, how good he is.